Okay. So we're adding on to that gift wrap sequence that we started yesterday, okay? For those that weren't here, I'll do the first part first, and I'll show you what we're adding today. So I got James in my guard. Let's say he has a grip down on my lapel here, okay? I'm gonna get a grip, okay? Let's just do this one for now. I'm gonna get this grip. I'm gonna come through and reinforce it, okay? So it's a cross grip on the sleeve, reinforcing. And then I'm gonna pick my hips up and break the grip, okay? And now as I pull it across, I'm pulling my legs in to trap the arm. I'm gonna do a little adjustment. Not a huge adjustment, just a little one to face my belly towards his elbow so he has a harder time pulling it out. Now using this sleeve, I'm gonna hand it off and get this gift wrapped position here. So this hand handed it off to this hand, okay? I'm gonna take this free hand that's free now, dive it under his knee and bring my leg high up in his armpit. Load him up on top of me. And I'm gonna do what's called a pendulum sweep with this free leg. I'm gonna pendulum it, sweep it underneath me. And now we end up here, okay? Kind of in this technical mount position. I want him a little more on his back, that's fine. So I have my knee up by his head, I'm here. All right, so that was yesterday's technique. Just the gift wrap to the pendulum sweep. Today we're gonna add on to it an Ezekiel type submission here. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, okay? If it works, great. If not, we got two more moves after this we're gonna add throughout the week. So I'm gonna loosen this up a little by bringing my arm forward. I wanna create a little bit of a gap here. And now I'm gonna bring this hand through and create a karate chop on this carotid and do a scissoring motion with my arms. Okay, it hurts. Maybe it chokes them, maybe it doesn't. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> if you get the tap, awesome. Okay, if not, we got more stuff after this. So that's the move. I'll do it again. Maybe I'll do, I'll do it on me. Come here, Charles. I'll do it on you. <laughs> so we got Charles in my guard. He grabs my lapel here. Okay. So we reach across. So we get a sleeve grip. Okay. We bring our other arm underneath to reinforce. I'm going to go out and up and over. So I'm going to go lift my hips. Okay. I want to create a nice clear path for my arm. And I want to create a little pop. Pop. Okay. Now I'm bringing this over. And as I bring it over, I bring my legs to me so that he ends up with his arm over there trapped against my body. I do a little adjustment just so I can get a good angle, okay? Taking this grip here, feeding it to the wrist. Free hand comes under the leg. And then we pendulum swing over, okay? So now we end up kind of in this tactical mount situation. I push my arm a little to make a gap here. If I have it nice and tight, which usually you want it nice and tight, I can't get my arm in. So I come down, I push it a little, and then I bring this here. Okay, and then I'm gonna karate chop and extend. So this comes here, and I'm scissoring with my arms. Okay, so you're here, like that, taking away that space there, yeah? So that's all we're gonna run through today. You guys wanna see one more time? Yeah, yeah sure. Charles is like, not really. <laughs> okay, cross grip, reinforce, pop, pull and tuck. Little adjustment. Get the wrist, okay? Free arm now, dives underneath. Leg comes high in the armpit. Pull them swing over. Make a little space for your arm. Bring it through. And then we're gonna extend and scissor. Okay, so this hand comes down to this carotid. And I'm gonna push this towards my other hand as I extend this arm straight. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're here. This hand comes here. And you're creating this. Scissor. Yeah. Let's see once you do it a couple times. All good? Okay. Let's run.